Hydraulic mounting method. One of the major premature bearing failures is happening because of mounting. And there are three methods of mounting. Hydraulic mounting method, mechanical or cold mounting method and hot mounting method. Now I am going to explain you about the recommended practices and non-recommended practices of hydraulic mounting method which is used to prevent the premature bearing failures. Hi, I am Murli Krishna. I provide total maintenance solutions for electrical, civil, mechanical in manufacturing industries. Now let's discuss about the commonly used method that is a lock nut tightening method. So there are a lot of disadvantages in the lock nut tightening method even though it is widely used. The first is whenever when we tighten the lock nut there is a possibility of damage of the lock nut or there is a possibility of damage of the lock washer. Second using the lock nut tightening method there is a lot of challenges in reduction of radial internal clearance and secondly it takes a lot of time for mount. If you ask me is there a better solution for it? Yes we have a better solution that is nothing but using the hydraulic mounting method. So what is there in hydraulic mounting method? There is an hydraulic pump and there is an hydraulic nut. The first is so when we use this method we can prevent the damage of the lock nut while tightening. Second we can also mount the bearings with the precise radial internal clearance after tightening. Third it also helps you in quicker tightening of the bearings. I will tell you the right scenario when to use the hydraulic mounting method. Whenever your bearing sizes are larger at least say the bearing diameter is 300 mm ID and when it is mounted on the adapter sleeve or mounted on the withdrawal sleeve or mounted on the tap and shaft then the most reliable solution would be hydraulic mounting method. If you are confused to select which hydraulic nut and which hydraulic pump needs to be used for your specific bearings don't worry I am here to support you.